Crafty Besties, it's your Crafty Bestie Tabitha. How are y'all doing? Have you had a good week or two or three since I talked to you last? So I have been working on some stuff and I just wanted to show you because I, I thought it'd be fun. Now I made this based on a video that I, um, I think I showed y'all this last time. So... I have written in it a little bit, but it's got, you know, tags and places to pull out. So I had a question. Do you want me to, to see me make more stuff like this, or I actually, I've been hoarding some Alice in Wonderland stuff for probably two whole years, and I finally picked the papers. For the signatures so I didn't know if y'all wanted to see me like work in this and decorate this journal I started a little you know just making some journaling spots and this is my favorite tag that I've made so far I had some lace and I was able to cut it in an A for Alice Made a little pocket there but yeah, I have hoarded the Alice stuff forever. And that's a little book page tag thing that I made on a piece of an envelope. And then I've got some big envelopes to play with in it. So do y'all want to see me do this journal? Because I still don't know what to put on the front. Maybe y'all can suggest what I can put on the front. Or would y'all like to see me make more stuff like this? This is a folio that I posted on my Facebook page for Autumn Memories 2023. And I um, wanted to show y'all. See, we went to the Tennessee State Park. There's your crafty bestie, George. And he handsome. And we went to Fort Loudon, took the dog. That's some stuff I wrote. These are more Fort Loudon pictures. And um, this is a patch from Fort Loudon. And then in here, this was on the patch. And it gives the history of Fort Loudon, which is something that I grew up near, but never actually went to. And this is just a little place that we could journal more about our journey. And I'm not done writing in it yet. And we got this. Um, Monroe County, Tennessee Visitor's Guide Passport. I just thought this was the cutest thing. This you get for free. And then it tells you all the cool places in Monroe County, Tennessee to go to. Um, Madisonville, there's the Monroe County Airport, Solly Notch Vineyard, Benton, Benton Smoky Mountain Country Ham, uh, Sequoia Landing and Lake House Grill. We went to the Fort Loudon State Park. There's the Sequoia Birthplace Museum, and that's pretty cool in Tennessee history. Coker Creek Welcome Center in Teleco Plains. I mean, and here's the map of the passport. And when you go to each one of these places, they have a stamp for you that you can collect, like this one. This is the Fort Loudon stamp. Um, and this tells you about it. It says, the British fortification sought to insulate the colony of South Carolina from the destruction of the French and Indian War. Inhabitants between 1756 and 1760 it oversaw the creation and disillusion of an alliance with the Cherokee Nation before falling into disuse. Reconstructed during the Great Depression near Teleco Lake, the fort, blockhouse ruins, and museum depict the site's history. So, it is really cool. And the Boy Scouts go there sometimes and stay and camp and earn their badges for different things there. Um... But yeah, I thought this was really cool. And you can get one, and you can get the stamps. And you can actually put the stamps, like, right here. 
um, or anywhere. And then it gives you a place to put your memories. And I thought that was a really cool visitor's guide to Monroe County, Tennessee. And I didn't even know that that was a thing. So, would you rather see me make things like this folio that I made for our vacation? Would you rather see me make envelope pocket journal things that are smaller? Or would you rather help me work in my Alice journal? I made this one with no one particular in mind. Um, my aunt gave me a pile. And when I say a pile, I mean a pile. Ooh, see, I'm throwing the pictures of art journals. This is a happy Thanksgiving. Um, and they have all these beautiful pictures. And it's just gorgeous art. So it was an art instructional book. And I cut a bunch of pictures out. This was from a photography one. When I say she gave me a ton, y'all, she gave me a ton. And the pictures are stunning. So, when I made this one, I used some of the background pages from some of those magazines. And these printables are from the Digital Collage Club. The Digital Collage Club is amazing because you can either buy it for a year or buy it for a lifetime. And every week they add new images and pages and all kinds of stuff. It's amazing. I love it. So, yes, I did the lifetime one because it was going to save me a lot of money. Because I can go on Etsy and spend $1,000 in a day if I would let myself. Just buying digital kits to print and make journals out of. But see these beautiful images? So, that's the back. And that's the front. And then I can I put a notepad here, but you could actually take it out, you know. But yeah, it's for and I thought this would be fun for somebody wanting to um document and create memories of their family's Thanksgiving, maybe. You've got a place to tuck pictures here. Um, then there's all this blank journaling space. And I tied it in with uh, just a little bit of brown hemp thread. But all of that is, um, that's digital that I printed front and back. And then I glued this beautiful image of roses and a trumpet and music here. And Thanksgiving apothecary. And then there's an envelope you could put stuff in here. But I put a little... Happy Thanksgiving card in here. So, and, you, and it's got a magnet. So, I just want to know from you, the viewer, if you want to see me make more things like this. Oh, these are all beautiful pictures cut out from those magazines and some stickers. And that's a digital from the Digital Collage Club. Do you want more things like this or smaller ones or do you want to see me decorate the Alice journal? That is the question. And question two, would you purchase these kinds of things in an Etsy shop? Because I think they're way fun. The base of this actually is a legal envelope and a little envelope. Would you purchase this in an Etsy shop? Would that be something you think people would be interested in? And uh, let me know in the comments below. Because I really need some feedback, guys. Because I'm kind of stumped on what to create next. But I really enjoy doing this. And it's a lot of fun. So, question. One, two, three. One, two, or three, which would you like me to create? And two, would you be interested in purchasing any of this if I did an Etsy shop? 
So that's the questions of the day. And thank you for stopping by. And if you like this video, please like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, I do appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me today. And help me answer some questions because I kind of need to know what direction I need to go in next creatively. Because I want to make stuff that you want to watch. And I want to make stuff that is going to bring value to the world. So, if nobody's told you today, you are special, you matter, you are loved, and you are enough. I love you much. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great rest of your day.